Hello and thanks for joining me in this stretch class with me, Alina. Today we're going to split the class up into two parts. For the first part we're really going to focus on the wrists, the forearms and the fingers and a little bit into the shoulders, which is going to be really good for you when you do a lot of planks or a lot of uh, vinyasa classes or push-ups or even when you text a lot because we're focusing on the fingers as well. Then the second part is going to be a release for the lower back, which is often a problem that we have when we sit a lot or, uh, you know, it's like a weak point for a lot of people. So first come and sit in a comfortable position. Make sure you can sit up straight and just roll your shoulders out a couple of times. Take them up and back, warming up the shoulders a little bit. And then take it the opposite way, rolling them forward. A couple more times. And release. Now we're gonna start straight with uh, the wrists, actually strengthening the wrists. So you're gonna take your hands up above your head and just make sure you roll the shoulders away from the ears. Now we're gonna open and close the hands a couple of times. So you spread the fingers and then you make a fist. And start by doing this, just take it easy. Make sure you make that fist and then open the fingers again. And really soon you're gonna feel this in the forearms. It's not gonna take that long. Keep breathing, keep sitting up tall. Just a couple more times. And at a certain point, it's gonna start burning, but this is really good for strengthening the forearms, strengthening the wrists. Couple more times, and release, shake it out. Now take your hands back up again, spread your fingers, and now we're gonna turn the wrists. So turn them in and out, in and out, and try and just move your wrists and not so much your elbows. So try and make the movement from the wrists. This is gonna increase the mobility in your wrists. Just a couple more times. And release, shake it out. Well done. Now we're gonna move into the fingers. We're gonna start with the right hand. So take your right hand out in front of you and open your, the palm of your hand away from you. So the back of the hand is facing your chest. Spread your fingers as much as you can. So the pinky and thumb are facing away from each other. Now you're gonna take your hand, your left hand to your right thumb and just pull it in towards your chest. And it doesn't have to be like a big pull, just whenever you feel it, that's okay. Just breathe here. And release, go to your index finger. First pull your index finger down and then take it towards you, towards your chest. Keep opening the palm. And these are the small muscles in our body, which we often forget. So it's really good to stretch them. Go to your middle finger. Try and keep your shoulders low. But at the same time, we're strengthening the shoulders and the muscles in the arms as well. Go to your ring finger, keep opening the palm, pinky and thumb away from each other. And then the pink, pinky finger. Just a small little stretch. And release. Make a fist and just roll your right wrist out. Back and forward a couple of times. Shake it out a little. Going to the other side. So spread your left palm away from you. So the back of the hand is facing your chest. Spread the fingers as much as you can. Going, starting with the left thumb. So grab your left thumb, pull it down and then towards each other towards your chest. 
really push the palm of the hand forward and always keep breathing so when you're texting a lot it's actually good to stretch out the fingers as well now the index finger or typing we're typing a lot as well keep breathing here pull the index finger towards you and then move to the middle finger and you don't have to put so much force in it just make sure you feel a stretch always in stretching we want to feel a stretch but not like a pinching like something that hurts in the muscle that's when you have to back off but just the feeling of stretch is is fine going to the ring finger keep opening the palms spreading the fingers away from each other and then move to the pinky last stretch and slowly release make a fist and just roll your wrist out back and forward a couple of times okay now spread your arms out like a T the level of your shoulder and flex your wrists so you're gonna push your palms into two imaginary walls like you really have to push and spread the fingers so this is immediately going to activate the muscles in your arms and your shoulders but it's also going to stretch the underside of the upper the underarm so push those walls away keep breathing here keep the shoulders low and then from here you're going to flip the palms so now just imagine the tops of your hands pushing against that wall and also spread your thumb now you feel it on the upside of the of the forearm breathe here now you're going to turn your palms up so your fingers are facing you and then make fists and roll your fists towards your upper arms your lower arms sorry <laughs> towards your wrists breathe keep breathing here now turn your palms down but keep that same motion towards your forearms your wrist, your fists towards your forearms now on an inhale take it back up and push the wall away again i'm going to do the same routine one more time so push the walls away you probably start feeling it at the shoulder so it's a really good strengthener at the same time now put your fingers down tops of the hands push into the wall take your thumb out inhale let your fingers face you and make a fist but keep your arms extended so don't bend, bend your elbows keep them straight breathing here just one more to go we can do this turn your fingers down your fists down last one here keep breathing and slowly release well done now you can interlace your fingers and just roll your wrists out go both ways just take it easy and then shake it out side to side and up and down well done if you don't usually work into your forearms and your hands this can be really intense already but we're go just going to do a couple more stretches and strengthening uh, poses for the hands and the wrists so we're going to come onto hands and knees and you're going to place your knees right under your hips your hands are going to be under your shoulders and now from here we're going to lift the palms of the hands up so only the fingers stay on the mat so on your inhale you pull the palms up on the exhale you push them down again inhale up 
exhale down up down three more times up down again up and down keep spreading the fingers last one up and down now you're gonna turn your fingers to face towards your knees make sure you keep the whole palm down into the mat spread your fingers as much as you can try and keep your arms straight and then you can tuck your toes under and just hinge back a little you don't have to sit all the way back onto your heels but try and keep your arms straight and just feel the stretch in the underarm here this is a really good one especially when you do a lot of vinyasa classes try and make sure you stretch the forearms you strengthen the muscles in the hands on the inhale you slowly come back in towards the center and then you're gonna turn your palms so now the tops of the hands are facing down keep spreading the fingers wide so make sure from the wrist the whole hand is all the way down and then again see keep your arms straight and see if you can lean back a little bit and breathe here the breathing really helps try and find that stretch in the body you don't have to go like sit all the way down too much this can be a lot more intense than the other and then on your inhale you slowly take it back in towards the center plant your palms back down and just sit back on your heels and just roll your wrists out again a couple of times then we're gonna do one more that i also really like so you're gonna plant your the the top of your right hand down into the mat and then place the last one on top of it so you're making like a namaste with your hands but your right hand is down and then move back and forward a couple of times it's like a little massage of your wrists and your hands as well so once you've done that a couple of times you come back in towards the center and you go the other way so now the left hand is down and then we're moving back and forward again a couple of times and then slowly release we're going to come back into our tabletop so spread your fingers your knees under your hips and now this time see if you can come into a plank plank position and we're going to do the same thing with the hands so this can be a full plank or just a kneeling plank i'm going to stick with the kneeling one because I'm not too familiar with this as well, but it's really good for strengthening your wrists. So stay in your knees or full plank and we're going to put the, the heels of the hands up again. So your wrists up, staying on the fingertips. So on your inhale, you reach the palms of the hands up, exhale, put them down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep spreading the fingers, inhale up, exhale down. Just three more, inhale up exhale down last two inhale up exhale down and then the last one inhale up and exhale down and sit back on your heels well done shake it out okay now roll your wrists out a little more shake it out now we're gonna move a little bit more into our uh, back lower back we're gonna start in sphinx pose today so in sphinx pose you're gonna plant your forearms down and just come and lay all the way down into your belly your feet are about hips distance apart you're gonna push the hands and the forearms down into the mat and push your chest forward the crown of your head up pull your belly button in with every exhale we're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths so this is gonna stretch out the abdominal muscles. Make sure you roll your shoulders away from your ears. A 
Couple more breaths here. Arms stay active, tops of the feet push down into the mat. And then slowly release, take your elbows out towards the side, plant your hands under your shoulders and push yourself back up into a tabletop. From here, we're gonna come and lay down all the way onto our backs. And first, just take your feet about hips distance. Bring your head down into the mat and walk your feet out to the width of your mat and let your knees fall in. So this is also a really good one for the lower back because we're widening the lower back here. Really releasing all the muscles in the lower back. From here, we're gonna move into what's called halasana or plow pose. And this is um, a preparation for shoulder stand. We're also gonna move into shoulder stand. But before we do, I just wanna make a, a side note. If you are on your period, if you're a woman on your period, please don't do this because this is um, an inversion. And when you're on your period, it's you don't wanna let the blood flow the other way. So if you're on your period, just stay here. It's really good for your lower back or take your knees in towards your chest. But if you wanna join me, take your feet about hips distance, plant your hands next to your hips, make sure your shoulders are down. And then first just take your feet up. This is also a variation that you can take every day also when you're on your period. If this is enough, you stay here but maybe you can engage the abdominal muscles and let your hips come over your shoulders. So when you inhale, you take your feet up and over, let your hips come over your shoulders. Now make sure when you're here that you don't move the neck. Keep pulling the belly button in with every exhale. And if your toes are touching behind your head, Maybe you can interlace the fingers and roll the biceps up towards the ceiling. And try and relax here and feel how the blood is flowing the other way. So why is this good for the lower back? Well, as you might notice, there is no tension at all in the lower back. The lower back is free. That's why shoulder stands and variations are very good for the lower back. We're just gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. It's also a really calming pose. That's why usually it's used at the end of yoga classes to calm you down. Keep pulling the belly in with every exhale. And now from here, you're gonna plant your hands on your lower back See if you can pull the elbows in a little bit. Plant your hands on your lower back. And then you're going to straighten the legs up coming into a shoulder stand. So reach the balls of the feet up. Again, don't move your neck. But keep your legs engaged. And again, this is a release for the lower back because it's up in space. It's supported by your hands. It doesn't have to hold up <laughs> your upper body. Now, when you're in shoulder stand, you can actually do some variations. Um, the variation that I'm going to show you today is the lotus pose when you're in shoulder stand. So if lotus or cross-legged uh, legs are available to you, you can start crossing your legs, taking your feet in towards the upper thighs and letting the knees fall towards your face. Now you can stay here if you are stable here, but maybe you wanna plant the hands on the knees. And do this slowly because you're gonna balance on your shoulders. When you've got the hands on the knees, maybe you can straighten your arms and really balance on the shoulders and feel even more light. Pull your belly in with every exhale. Keep breathing through the nose. 
taking two more breaths wherever you are. And then slowly release your hands, bring them back on your lower back if they aren't there already. And then re-extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Bring them back up. Coming back into your shoulder stand. Now our next variation, you can either go back to Halasana. So first we'll do that, just bring the feet back behind you. Coming into our plow pose. And then you can either keep your hands on your lower back or just interlace them again and bring them down towards the mat. And then bend your knees if this is possible and just bring your knees right next to your ears. So closing off your ears. Maybe you wanna bring the hands towards your heels or your feet. Maybe grab your wrists and just bring them towards your head. And see if you can find some relaxation in this pose. Taking deep inhales and exhales. And slowly release the hands. Bring your hands back on your upper back, on your lower back, I should say, and then slowly re-extend the legs and very carefully roll all the way back onto the mat. Bring your feet back, shoulder width, hip width, <laughs> and then extend your legs out. Now to counter all these shoulder stand poses, we're gonna come into what's called fish pose. Now for fish pose, you're gonna place your forearms down onto the mat next to your hips. And then you're gonna take your feet about hips width and keep your feet active. So flex your toes. Now from here, you're gonna roll onto the crown of the head. We're gonna create space in the neck. So put your forearms down, reach the chest up and roll onto the crown of the head. So feel the stretch in your neck, which is also a nice one when we're working and sitting all day behind the computer or using our phones a lot. Keep the uh, abdominals active to so pull your belly button in couple more breaths here. And then slowly release, bring the head back down, roll all the way back down onto your back. My hair is always in the way. <laughs> okay, now from here you take your knees in towards your chest. And just rock side to side and back and forward a little bit. Massaging the lower back. And then the last one we're gonna do today is a twist. So we're gonna take the arms out towards a T at the level of your shoulders. And you can choose your variation here. You can keep the knees together. You can cross one leg on top of the other. You can do, you can just push one knee in, whatever feels better. I'm going to keep the knees together today. So move your hips over towards the right side and then let your knees fall over towards the left. <laughs> My back is cracking. If it's available, you can look over towards your right hand and just take deep breaths in and out through the nose here. back to your breath and maybe you feel a little more quiet a little more peaceful than when you start a class we send more blood to the head the brain and this always 
provides you with more rest in the head, more relaxation in the body. Inhale, take your knees back in towards your chest and then go to the other way. So first bring your hips a little to the left and just let your knees fall towards the right side. And if it's available to you, you can look over towards your left hand. Try and make that space between the left shoulder and the mat a little smaller with every exhale. Again, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Try and see if you can release tension in the body. And slowly take everything back in towards the center. Just bring your feet down. Bring your hands back right next to your hips and extend the legs out. Let your toes fall out and your palms face up. We're gonna stay in Shavasana for a couple of breaths. Now just to protect the lower back a little more, see if you can tuck your tailbone in. Maybe bringing more surface of the back onto the mat and then bring your shoulder blades together. Now here, just completely relax. We're gonna take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So start with a deep inhale through the nose and exhale side out. Again, deep inhale through the nose and on your exhale, release something. Last one, deepest breath you've taken all day. And exhale, let something go. Now let your body be still. Feel gravity pull on the back of your body. And just reset. Let your body rest. There's nothing you have to do except breathe. Feel the expansion and the contraction of your belly. Feel your lungs fill up with air and release the toxins with every exhale. Now slowly Start taking deeper breaths in and out through your nose. And begin with some small movements in your fingers and your toes. And slowly make them bigger. Roll your ankles and your wrists. And then from here you can stretch your arms up out over your head, bring your feet together, stretch your whole body, and then bend the knees one by one, and just roll over onto your right side, and relax on your right side for a couple of breaths. Then 
and use your left hand to push yourself back up and come into a seated position any seated position that feels good in your body bring your hands together in front of your heart and rub your palms together create some heat some energy once you've created that heat you open your palms cover your eyes and soak up the energy you just created now slowly bring your hands back together in front of your heart and very gently open your eyes namaste thank you so much for joining this short stretch class please let me know how it went for you in the comments below or send me a message and make sure you check out the schedule of the ssc for the online youtube classes or maybe the uh, classes in person and uh, yeah i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you again soon